Hi and welcome to this group text video and today's topic is Bosch SDK code sample and the Bosch SDK is a device full of programmable sensors for IoT developed prototypes. The SDK can connect over Bluetooth or wireless network. For this device uh, it contains eight principal sensors, an accelerometer, acoustic sensor, digital light sensor, gyroscope, humidity sensor, magnetometer, pressure sensor and temperature sensor. There is a tool chain for the SDK available in Windows, Linux and Mac. And the SDK has a 3D2 microcontroller based in the REM Cortex M3, 1 megabyte of flash and 128 kilobytes of RAM. Additionally, this video will show the basic routine to read values from the different sensors that SDK has. Uh, to begin with, SDK has an ID called SDK Workbench where you can program your microcontroller using the SDK API, compile the book as if you want. Uh, in this sample, we're going to use the test SDK see, a project that you might want to create uh, your own project based on the template. To do so, go to the new project. Uh, SDK the project and the bottom of the list select SDK application template and this way you can have a base application to code this with the main routine now uh, this kind of project have two main files the main C and the big source uh, C and if we go to the main C we have a uh, a chain of verification to check that the startup routine goes well and in that uh, we check that we just start the schedule for concurrency uh, in these functions uh, we set up the adult task configure timers and manage interrupts uh, this function is interesting and this is uh, a call to to set a parameter as a thread, in this case a function called app init system. And this thread is app init system that is allocated in the source code to the project. And mainly all the logic stands in the project source file uh, where we can find the app init system. And the logic in the app init system is as follows. The first instruction is to check if the command processor handle was set correctly. Uh, this instruction says to the compiler to ignore a variable. The next instruction is to set some variables regarding the timer that we're going to use. And we're going to talk uh, about these variables later. And then humanity is used. Uh, community use is a function that calls the initialization and, and execute of the community sensor. And the main idea of this function is to start a timer to read values from the sensor. Therefore, the first expression is to create a time a timer handle. And uh, then the humanity the init humidity function calls an uh, initialized function from the static humidity sensor handler and handler errors code. After that, a channel should be created by the external create function. Uh, in this function, the first parameter is the name of the timer, the second is the period in milliseconds. And in this case, uh, it's only one second delay. The third parameter determines whether it's a cycle or one shot timer. In this case, we set as a cycle. The fourth is an ID, but in this case, there is no use for it. And the last parameter is a function to be called every second in this timer. If the timer was fully created, uh, the create timer returns a handle for this 
for this uh, function. And then the next timer start function is called to start the timer handler. The second parameter specify the time that the calling task should be held in the block state to wait for another task. It's gonna mute X. And next time is uh, timer start can return a failed flag if any error was found. So in the humidity use is like a template for the other sensors as you can see. Uh, we just initialize, uh, create a handler, uh, create a timer and then start the timer. In this case the light sensor and the accelerometer have some additional configuration but keeps the same idea of pulling by a custom timer. As you can see, uh, the use of functions uh, just initialize and create the timer and read is pretty much the same, but in the accelerometer uh, has additional configuration. In this case, uh, to read the x, y, and z values from the accelerometer, a stroke should be created to handle these values as an array. Uh, then set some memory and call the read x, y, z value uh, function. And so basically, this is the idea of this program. It's just initialize, read, and set timers to display in the console the the, the values that the sensors are uh, detecting. Unfortunately, I don't have an SDK at the moment, and therefore, I think that this is the end of the video. Hope you enjoy it.